be honest, this is probably the worst place to find Batman. Welcome to Sunless Sea. Hello everyone and welcome back. Here we are, exactly where we left off last time. We are just west of the Iron and Misery Company and we're looking for Mount Palmerston. So, without any wasting of time, let's move onwards. So, I don't... Actually, let's do it. Let's stop in at the Iron and Misery Company just quickly to see if we can pick up a port report, if nothing else. It's an opportunity to make a, a little bit more money for the next time when we stop in Fallen London. So, here we go. Back into base. we got... So we've still got plenty of uh, food and we've got a reasonable amount of fuel. I'm a little bit worried about our terror, so an opportunity to reduce that would be good. Okay, so we can have tea with the factor. We can explore the island. Um, we can accept a volunteer. I don't think we want to do that one. We can gather supplies, but our terror is too high for that one. Okay. Which one should we do? Um, I'm willing to bet that this is going to reduce terror, so let's give this one a go. T with the factor. The poor fellow needs company, and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle. Fungal jungle, yeah. An expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Even the tea tastes a little mouldy. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the Gant Pole where the monsters swarm, about the seductions of the principles of coral, the infestation at Featherhaven. He also has a load of Bouglius frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I've eaten so much of the stuff I fear I will be transformed entirely into fungus. He leans confidentially forward towards you. It happens, you know. But one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. You've gained three fragments. You've gained one supply. We've lost two terror. That's all for now. Okay, two terror. Not the end of the world. Not too bad. Okay, and we've used up our... Um, something new happening, so... We can't do anything there. What have you got in the shops? Expensive supplies. And quite frankly, I don't think we need them just yet. So, without further ado, let's move on. So, here we are. We are now heading into Uncharted Waters. So, it's going to be interesting to see here what we find. We've discovered the Fuzjin Bleaks. 50 fragments gained. Good, that's given us almost another secret. And here we are into the dark. I'm sure this is going to send our terror shooting up. Should be fun. And why not? And when we get out a little bit, there's something I've been meaning to try for a little while, which we shall do. What's that? I'm willing to bet it's not going to want to be friends. They'll find out in just a minute. Distant bells. Fed the crew. Oh, and a pirate. We are popular today. Are they going to fight, or are they both going to follow us? They're both going to follow us. The Albino Moray attacks. Pale and savage as a wolf moon, toothed to rival the greatest of whales, and quick to take offence. Don't tease the beast, you'll be lucky to lose a leg. So we can fight. We can flee. It's nimbler than you are, but perhaps you could distract it with a Zaylor. The crew won't like this, though. Or we can flee with a high-risk challenge. Uh-huh. Okay, let's fight. We have engaged the enemy. Okay, let's not muck around. Let's chuck a couple of lights up and see where we go from there. 
So fortunately it's using the slower illumination, which is not surprising because it doesn't have any lights. Two of those might well be enough, so let's put some shots in there as well. Ooh, life 100. Good lord. I think... Yeah. I want to put some evades in here as well. Just... To, yeah, you see, it's going for our terror, which is interesting. This will put that total down. Uh-huh. Not by much. Let's get a couple more shots in. I'm starting to feel this might be our first actual challenge. But it's decided to prove me wrong. Are you actually going to do something? No, you're not. Oh. How disappointing. Right, let's butcher it for supplies or dissect it for knowledge. We have supplies. Other oddities would be fun, but let's gain some knowledge. Pages would be good. Nature's armory. Observe its teeth, the hooks, the clamps, the cunning tendons of the jaw, its skin, which almost defeats your knives, and which secretes a slime containing a toxin that causes paralysis of the nerves. You learn from these. We've gained a hunting trophy. We've gained ten fragments and we've succeeded in a page's challenge. Nice. Okay, let's move on. I think we're going to be visited by that pirate any any minute soon. Errants, Errants, Gyrus, Errants, Gyrus. What's this? The principles of coral, the corpse rainbow glow from beneath the waves, echoes the false stars above. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, I think it's going to be scary. What's down here? Ooh. The waves are flecked with light. What's this? Regal complexus. How are we doing for supplies? We're doing plenty good on supplies, but we are definitely running out of, uh... What do we have? Oh, The Bound Shark attacks. The most tormented of sea beasts, its murderous eyes peek from its caged flesh like convicts begging release. Let's fight it. Okay, 75 life, so that's not that bad. Let's do our standard starting gambit. Let's see how we go here. Right. So, bit of illumination. I think two are going to be enough. And if it's only going to illuminate like that, we're probably going to want to... Oh, actually, that one was much bigger. Yep. Yeah. And let's put it as a 50 so we can start damaging it. There we go. Ooh. Mm, that's got tough skin. What's this? Snatch. Ooh, seizes a struggling Zaylor from the deck. Right, let's chuck a, a couple of evades in there. What's this? Appalling cry. Just what we need. Yes, that's giving us extra terror. And that'll help us. And let's finish the thing off. Uh, it doesn't know what to do now, does it? Ah, how about you, sir? How about you? Hopefully this one will do it for us. It did. Well, they're getting tougher, aren't they? We can use its meat. Its torment ended with its death. You have more immediate concerns. We can't record any observations because we were too much of a coward to do anything. But we can examine its cage armature. Someone has bound its savagery with black iron, sunk bands, and joined mechanisms deep into its flesh. It's a modest challenge. It gives us a 61% chance of success. Let's do it. Digging deeper. The cage has begun to distort its shape. More than seems reasonable, but then a shark has no bones. 
rods of iron inserted deep into its flesh have done impossible things there are organs in there none of you the, the uh, excuse me there are organs in there none of you recognize its suffering must have been extraordinary you take a tooth as a trophy if your hull is damaged your engineer will repurpose some of the cage as repair materials so we've had a quick repair we gained two hull we've gained two terror mind we've gained a hunting trophy we've gained 30 fragments so that's good I'm really starting to get worried about our terror Scots and we're fighting again let's do it so two of those one of those to be going up what is this flee flank speed okay let's do this We'll see where we are after those two illuminations. Mm, that's not a good start, is it? No, we're going to need one more illumination. And I think actually we'll evade one more time as well. And that should give us a chance to start fighting the thing. Yes, we're well over 50 now. That's good. And it stopped his attack as well, which is nicely timed. Okay, so we'll do one more. We'll do another evade, and then we'll shoot it again. That's good. So we're going to lose a Zayla here. Yep. This is not good. But we should be able to kill it quickly now. What's this one? Oh, he's given us some damage there. Man. That's worrying. What's this one? Dramatically reduces illumination. Okay, we should... Yes, just got in there. Okay. Wow, that was bad. Okay, we can examine its cage armature again. But last time it raised terror and I'm worried about that. So let's just use its meat. Okay, we've gained a hunting trophy. We've gained surprise. And we have an unprepossessing mass. The shark meat is spongy, is dark, springy, and oily. These are not encouraging properties for a meal. Nevertheless, your cook, perhaps, can make something of it. And what's this in its gut? All right. Okay. Open an unprepossessing mass. Ooh. Okay, we can... All right. Hmm, interesting. I get the feeling that we will gain stuff from this but we'll gain terror as well and our terror is very high but let's do one of them anyway yes okay two zailers complain that the meat size melodramatically when cut cutlery is applied to it they are they are probably engaging in mischief but your crew becomes nervous nervous but satiate okay so we've lost our unprepossessing mass We've gained a terror, but we lost 31 hunger. That wasn't really very good for us. And this music is really starting to worry me. Scott's Reef, come on, be a port. Be a port. I think the port is going to be the other side, so we'll loop around her and try there. In fact, we're probably close enough to have a quick look at the map. Yes, its port is over the other side, so we need to loop around this island and go dock. Okay, and amazingly, we are actually starting to get to the end of the episode. This one has really flown past. We've discovered the wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang. Nice. We've gained a secret. Questing tentacle. Gleaming, it rises from the Z. It's, it coils lazily around a Zayla who does not speak or cry out. She only steps into its embrace and is gone. No one asks and no one will answer. Okay, we've lost a crew. The Z is quiet. Nothing stirs. But you saw the moon pale limb of the monster. Was it there? Did the Zayla leap? Surely you didn't push her. Surely. Oh man, we are losing so much crew. This is getting...
quite worrying, actually. Actually, what I'm thinking about it, let's pick up some mirrors. Okay, so we can use that secret. We don't have 50 mirrors yet, so let's use that to gain a mirror. The navigator likes to talk about the Z. He has long opinions on its beauties, its dangers, its salinity, its depth, and its contents, and the rest. Every other sentence starts with the Z. Z, Z, Z. After a while, you reach the point of semantic cetacean, and the word Z means no more to you than the word Zop. You put you Zine to have learned something. So we've lost a secret, but we gained a mirrors, which is just going to help us in fights. That's really good. So, there's the wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang. Doesn't look like we can stop there. But fortunately, it looks like we can stop here. We've learned... We've discovered Brock's Reef. So let's stop, because it increases our turning circle. Come on, around you go. That's ah, good here. And into port. And hopefully, we can do something about the terror, because... We have a terror of 96. I think we're about to find out what happens when that maxes out. But fortunately, here's a port. Okay. Alright. Into Port Cecil we go. Alright. Port Cecil. Rumble, rumpled convolutions of Korra fill the water, glimmering with silvery lights. Okay. The harder you look, the more you see shapes amid the chaos, almost as if they were sculpted. This one could be a crenellated castle, this one a horse's head. A neat little port huddles in the, into the side of the coral island. Prosaic and imperial docks and houses tucked away in a baroque organic chaos. In that curious silvery light among the frozen chaos, the coral, the scene has the unreal air of a pencil sketch crumpled and discarded. So, we can play chess, we can explore the Coral Knoll, we can gather intelligence. Okay, we don't have uh, a port report, so that's probably how we do it. We can put a Blemingen ashore, we don't have a Blemingen. We can gather Scintillanac, which is a high risk challenge. Uh, mirror Charlotte gives us 28% chance of success. I don't think we're going to be doing that one this time round. So let's gather intelligence. Chess, dreams, silver light. The older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry coral incrustations like a disease, splotched with silvery light. They like to go up into the lonesome heights behind the harbour to lay their heads against the pillars and, and towers, stare at the roof of the neath, Dream open-eyed. Sometimes they speak of things far away. The Carnate's work, the Smuggler's Wars, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. So there we go, we gained a port report, that's good. So, that's... We can explore or we can play chess. I'm getting the feeling that I want to play chess. Let's try the challenge. 51% chance, yes, why not? Chess is popular in the principles. The port is full of exiles, drunks, and washed up Z traders. They all play often obsessively. Be careful, the chess pieces are carved from Sintelac here in the principles. That can be very dangerous. Okay, a loss. The opponent shakes your hand. Time to go, she tells you, but don't worry, you'll be back. So we failed that one, but we gained a fragment, so not a great loss. Can we... we cannot do anything else because we've used up our something awaits you. Never mind. Let's have a quick look in the shop. So we can buy supplies, we can buy fuel. I am actually getting tempted to buy fuel. We'll see. And what's their shipyard like? No shipyard. Okay. Um, nothing in the hold of any interest here. Uh-huh. Um, just check the story again. Nothing there. So, 
Okay, we're coming up to our 20 minutes, so I think we'll leave it there. We will pick this up again in the next episode, and we will carry on looking for Mount Palmerston. We're getting to the point now where we're running out of fuel, but we still have plenty of supplies, so we should be able to um, pick up some fuel from the supplies. However, we are starting to get completely terrified. Thank you for watching. I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been Sunless Sea.